I have way too much blush on. <laughs> Priority. In case you guys are wondering, Selena Gomez has a new makeup line. It's all really good stuff that I've tried so far. The liquid blush, Selena Gomez did not come to night round. <laughs> this is one little dot the size of a pencil eraser on each cheek. <laughs> and I look like this. Selena Gomez did not come to night round. It doesn't look like a big package. It's going to last you the rest of your life. <laughs> so, um... In, in addition, this is we. This keeps happening um, this year in particular, but the past few years. Um, every we are in the middle of the hellscape. That that is that is without question. Everything is 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 on fire in some way, shape, or another. Yeah, and in the Mighty, middle of the, literally, and in the middle of this, the people who you would think would be doing stuff to make things better, instead, they have to poke the bear. And in this case, the bear being the fabric of reality. In case you didn't see the headline. Yeah, your I, favorite I, I, people, Tara. These are your favorite people. I hate these people. I hate them. The, the scientists behind the Large Hadron Collider have stated that very soon they may be able to punch their way into a parallel universe i'm not making that up that's the that's the, the no the, that's a real story they said within days within days we got some slider action going on here and someone on twitter was like i thought you liked fringe yes i did like fringe i don't want to live in fringe well people are saying did you watch that show it's a nightmare i mean fringe is one possible outcome but there are other things when you punch your way into other parallel universes there are so many stories. I mean, nothing good in any of our stories. When someone oh. punches their way into a parallel universe, like Doom, that Vigi game, that's all about punching your way into a parallel universe. Um, the Mist? The Mist. Punching your way we into a parallel universe. We might punch a into the giant venomous bug universe. Uh, you know, there's an entire TV show, Sliders. About We're not going to get Spider-Man. We're not going to get, it's not going to be the spin to the spider verse. Okay. No, you're not going to punch that lucky. Peter Parker is not going to come tumbling out of that hole. Hell no. itself is going to come tumbling out of that night hole. Our best case scenario is that we are the night trailer park universe <laughs> in the multiverse. That's true. And that they're all going to decide they have to destroy us. Like, think about it. I keep bringing up sliders, but did you ever watch sliders? I did not. Oh, that was it, Jerry O'Donnell. Yeah, like every they go to these slightly different alternate universes. Like one ep, one was like the universe where they didn't invent um, penicillin, and it was like you know that that was that was a huge you know. We're kind of that universe right now. Even on Supernatural, the alternate universes were terrible. We, there was one that was all dinosaurs. Yeah. We are the all. I think we are the alternate universe. Because we might be the one that they decide they need to destroy. Yeah, we're the one where where uh, Trump got elected. We're the one with the, with the pandemic spiraling out of control. They're we over there with President Keanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Zeppelins and dogs can talk. <laughs> and Bowie is still alive. Bowie's doing fine. great. Bowie's on a world tour. With Tom Petty, and like this is the bad we're place. The, yeah, we're gonna open the door and be like, "Hey, what's up?" And they're gonna be just waiting with a night face or candy. Right, or right. they're gonna be like, "We've got to shut the door. We can't let them out." All of us are gonna be like, "Let us go. Let us come to you." We're gonna be like <laughs> refugees. Us in. Over there, I'm <sighs> a in our swimsuit model. <laughs> There's no universe in which I'm a millionaire swimsuit model. Hmm. But maybe there's a universe where I'm like Dean Winchester's girlfriend on Supernatural. Dan's sitting right there. I'm an actress playing a character on the television show <laughs> sure, who happens sure. to get paid to make out with Jensen Ackles sometimes. Hi, I love you. <laughs> in that universe, I'm a male porn star. There you go. All right. Well, with those wonderful notions in mind, uh, in case the universe 
collapses in the next week. Now you know why. Some of us will have a, you know, be a bit of a relief, depending. But in the meanwhile, are we doing the show? If the universe collapses. Are we still on? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see if the internet still works. Okay. If I've got internet, then we'll do the show. You know. Okay. That's that's. <sighs> anyway, I'm pretty sure like an asteroid could be colliding and be like, "Do I have internet? Go do the show." A universe where you're the roller derby hippo queen. I'd like to see that because I can't roller skate for shit. I've never been able to. All right. That that in mind. Let's get the intro going because, of course, we have the nonsense. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And we're going to start this week. It has been a while since we've had an Internet of Shit story. Um, the Internet of Shit, It's if you are living under a rock. It's a colloquialism that has been derived from the yes. Internet of okay. Things. Uh, there's a very famous Twitter account right now, depending on who you know. You should follow it, Internet of Shit, because he, uh, or he, he, she, they, not sure, um, documents the atrocities, which are the Internet of Things and the the tech, the, the dude, the, the tech bros who, who put the, the horse before the cart, or the cart before the horse, whichever one of those. And um, they uh, don't think out the consequences of what they do with the technology, especially when it comes to sex toys. This God, one, yeah. this one is astonishing because it, up until now it's been like vibrators for the ladies, and it's been like terrifying, like vibrators with internet connected that people can activate and hack for like long distance relationships, and I get the appeal. Well, now for 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 those who who wield a penis, um, now it's time for your horror story. Um, I love horror stories for wielders of penises. Apparently, there's like a fetish to make your partner have like like lock down their dick. Oh yeah, a chastity, a little the little cage for your dick. Yeah. Well, apparently there's an internet connected chastity belt for, for, for dick wielders. And um, it was designed where you could, you have could control the lock across the internet. So of that's course, a terrible idea. Yeah. You, Actually, you, you know what? That's a great idea. Every man should have one. No, not really, because this no. it, it became a bit of a problem here. Um, security flaw <laughs> left smart ch chastity sex toy users at risk of permanent lock-in. See, what happened was the device can be rather easily hacked um, because the, 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 the default, what was it, the default password? Um, the consequence of, yeah, uh, world's finest, what was the problem? I'm trying to find the exact problem here. The app communicates with the lock using an API, but the API was left open and without a password, allowing anyone to take complete control of the user's device. That's a real virgin whore dichotomy that's setting up. It gets better. Because the chamber was designed to lock with a metal ring underneath the user's penis, the researchers say it may require the intervention of a heavy-duty bolt cutter or angle grinder to free the user. There's no key. There's no emergency key. There's no emergency unlock. The only way to unlock it is with the internet. And if you lose that... I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this was not a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this was step one in a super villainous plan. Oh, so yeah, you can, you can pretty much lock anyone who's put this on their dick. You can lock them down forever. There used to be a, <laughs> a reality show on Showtime called Gigolos, and it was about a bunch of like male escorts in Las Vegas. And one of them, this was the woman's thing. Like uh -huh. he was walking around with his penis in a little cage for like a week and all the other guys are making fun of him for it. And I, my big question with these is, and I guess the real big problem 
if it locks would be like, how do you pee? Oh, well, th there's a little hole at the bottom. Listen. <laughs> Y'all can't hit a foot <laughs> radius toilet. <laughs> Y'all are writing your names on walls and shit. You can't pee through that hole. I put a gun to your head. You can't pee through that hole. That is, that is not gonna work out. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it, it's it's this is one of those. Uh, why would you turn control of your dick over to the internet? There's people that are gonna buy it because of that. <laughs> They're gonna go on Twitch and like people. You can pay a dollar to control my dick live on the internet. Some of them come with catheters. Oh, well, okay. Ah! That makes it fine. Damn! Ah! That is also a fetish. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right, we don't judge. It's just... That doesn't sound like fun to me. That sounds like a lot of work. That doesn't sound like fun. I, I don't... But yeah, you should really have an emergency device with these things, just in case, you know? Yeah, the, 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 the idea that, that you have to call the fire department because someone hacked your dick cage. And I don't know any man who, des who really wants bolt cutters that close to his tackle. Or an angle grinder with sparks flying everywhere. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds bad. Oh, Dan will tell you later. He'll tell. He'll explain the angle grinder to you. That's a wonderful device. Um, is there any more of a 2020 concept than don't let the internet lock your dick up? <laughs> Somebody hacked my dick cage. I did. There's a list of things I can't explain to my mother. If you have this problem, <laughs> are you then an incel? You technically are involuntarily. Yeah, that that's. Hmm. Will they accept you into their ranks because <laughs> or will they be angry that you found somebody to put that on you in the first place? <sighs> well, moving on along, this is. We we, we quite often uh, cover compounding the error that, that happens often. People who think if I just go in a little deeper, I'll make it all better. And after the last story, that's that's a choice of words. It is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, uh, so let's start off with th this. This this election uh, is bringing out the, the true nonsense from people. Um, and this is I, I, I want to put this out. This is not the main story. Um, there was a businessman in uh, Dickinson County. Iowa, um, that stole, he, he was like known in the county, well off fellow, stole a Biden sign from his, from someone's lawn and he got caught and he got arrested and he went to court and he had to, you know, he, he was fined and all that shit. That's not the story, even though it's fairly stupid on its own. No, no. It's common though. The story is he didn't want anyone to know about it. So he proceeded to go all over town stealing every single newspaper. Oh, honey. <sighs> newspaper racks were empty, storefront vending boxes were cleared out, and copies of the September 2nd Dickinson County News were hard to come by just 24 hours after the weekly newspaper was distributed throughout the Iowa, throughout, uh, the Iowa Great Lakes. Area businesses re re reviewed their security footage, and Peter D. Yeager, I'm going to say that again so we get that name out there, Peter D. Yeager, owner of the foreign candy company in Hull, was charged with fifth-degree theft. Um, D. Yeager, uh, the Jiffy Station, they, had, they caught him on video doing this shit. Jiffy Station was the only video uh, business reviewing security footage. Uh, cameras at Jennings Toe and Repair recorded a man visiting the local cell shell station at midday. Co-owner Sylvia Jennings says she recognized him as a regular customer. She recalled him asking if she carried $100 gift cards. 
Um, she turned around to get them out of the cabinet. He grabbed my papers, folded them over, stuck them down by his leg, and walked out the door. Um, D. Yeager's name happened to appear on page three of the September 2nd edition in the police reports. The whole businessman had been charged with fifth degree theft and trespassing, both misdemeanors, after stealing a political yard sign from a residence in Monarch Cove. Dickinson County Sheriff's uh, Deputy Brandon uh, Vodraska helped file those charges and confirmed the so stolen sign was in support of former Vice President Joe Biden's uh, presidential campaign. Pleaded not guilty of charge of theft and trespassing. Uh, the court later ordered D. Yeager to pay $105 for the theft and $260 for the trespassing. So, had he just been done with it, taken his lumps, this would have been fine. But he went to all of these businesses in town stealing all of their newspapers in an attempt to keep them from finding out he was an asshole. Wait till he finds out newspapers are online now. <laughs> I know, right? The fucking internet. It sounds to me like he should have laid off D. Yeager. <laughs> but simply, simply put, had he just let it go, this would have just been another little... No, no one would have even... But he learned noticed. how to problem solve from Donald Trump, you see. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. So when you get caught stealing a thing, you have to steal more things and then yell about it real loud. Yes. Is he, he went, uh, people tried to, to, to call him out and he was like, oh, I didn't know. I thought this was the free paper. I'm sorry. You thought all 20 of those were the free paper? Yeah. How many birds do you have? I just, it, it, what the fucking, you fucking idiot. Cause now, and I'm going to put his name. I, I, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, his name is going in the description for this week's episode. So when people search. For Peter DeAger. Um, Hi, Pete. Yeah. We're, we're Fuck gonna... you. You know what would have solved this problem? If you just didn't steal shit off your neighbor's lawn. I know, right? What, what, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? I know it's hard because you're in a cult and you think that anybody who's not in your cult is evil. I mean, everybody, everybody has fucking cameras right now. All of these stores had cameras. How are you this thick? What was the gain here? Well, that sign's down. He'll never get elected. Now, are you fucking stupid? Yeah, you are. You are. Yeah. You're yeah. And these videos are all over the internet. Like, this is a the thing they're doing. They're stealing people's lawn signs. I've seen, like, three different videos of people booby-trapping their lawn signs <laughs> with, like, exploding glitter. Or <laughs> Or if one of them literally bordered the whole thing in thumbtack. So if you try to pick it up, yeah. Jesus. That's the point we're at. I don't want anyone to know I'm an asshole. I think they caught on already. Too yeah, late. I guarantee you the people in your life already know you're an asshole. Uh, our next one's Florida. Moving right along. And uh, this is one of those... If you love if if you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it was meant to be. If it doesn't, don't. Are we doing that with Florida? Don't climb down the storm drain to get it. Pennywise is down there. Come on. <laughs> Teen rescued from Pasco storm drain after climbing in to get dropped cell phone. A team got stuck in a storm drain in Pasco County Wednesday afternoon after dropping their cell phone. Firefighters say they were called at the scene on Pembleton Drive in Newport Ricci. I used to live there for a technical rescue. The teen had dropped their cell phone into a storm drain while walking home from the bus stop, then removed a manhole cover, climbed in, and got stuck. Those things weigh a lot. Like, that's not easy to do. Firefighters were able to extricate the team from the storm drain, clean them off, dra check the drain for hazardous gases, and turn the team over to their pair. Clean them off. Like, they hose them down. Hose? Did they power wash that kid? <laughs> 
I mean, most teenage boys probably could use a power washing, if we're being honest. <laughs> so their parents were probably like, thank you. Although it doesn't say that, does it say the gender of the teen? Uh, it, was a, it was a kid. It was a guy. It was a dude. Okay. So parents were probably okay with that. I mean, okay. All right. Look. Uh, kudos for getting the manhole cover off because I'm an adult. Yeah. I don't know. How, I don't know how to do that shit. I think there's a tool for it that I know of. I don't know where you got the tool to but do they're this. They're also very heavy. They are. They fucking are. But you could not pay me to go down there. That's where the poop is. If my phone lands in the poop, goodbye. Didn't we have somebody who dove down a toilet in China yep. for their phone? Yeah. Like at some point, <laughs> you just got to cut your losses. I, I mean, how much did you, how much did you, your parents pay for? I mean, I can understand your parents are going to be pissed. You dropped a phone. They are. Yes. But I think they're more pissed that not only did you, and then nowhere in this story does it say they found his phone, by the way, <laughs> uh, not only did you lose your phone? Now they had to pull your ass out of the fucking storm drain. And now Pennywise has a fucking cell phone. So thanks for that. <laughs> Pennywise can spam text us all now. <laughs> oh, it's just it, it, Pennywise. The, it would just be like that laughing, crying emoji over and over and over and over again forever. I fucking hate that emoji. That's the worst fucking emoji in the world. It's like my top used emojis. Did you know that emoji's out of style? Is it? Gen Z has declared that emoji dead. <laughs> it's my number one used emoji. I use it so much and it's not cool to use that anymore. Now, if you want to like use an emoji to represent that you're laughing, you're supposed to put a little skull that you're like dead from laughter. I am not doing that. Otherwise the kids will know that you're an old. And I'm like, well, I am an old, so whatever. I use them. Well, I, I don't even use the, the little pictures sometimes i use the old-fashioned semicolon parentheses dealio i'm from no, the stone I age that, i use that emoji a lot <laughs> too much <sighs> well, we're going to to greece which i don't even understand how people are going on vacation right now um because the <laughs> everything i don't I understand yeah. how people are traveling around the world too far off I don't. Even if you're not from America and they let you go, I don't understand how people are doing that. There but are countries that are literally doing flights to nowhere because people <sighs> miss the experience of yeah. flying. But some it's like Instagram Who influencers. Are these people? That's the worst part of going anywhere. Instagram in, uh, um, influencers are getting going to sets that are made up like fake jet planes. To look like they're still going play it's it's i know it's it's wacko. Like who wants to go through all the bullshit of getting on an airplane to fly around in a circle are you that bored probably and that the, the airlines are that desperate they'll take your money um the story comes from greece and really talk about pushing your luck here uh this is from the island of poros i think i'm saying that correctly if i'm not i'm sure the the comments will Say, oh, they'll let you know. They'll let me know. Um, and this is this is a translated story because the original was in Greece or Greek. Um, so an incredible drunken tourists steal public bus, drive around dancing naked. An incredible incident occurred on the island of Poros in the early hours of Thursday. A group of northern European tourists, most probably in a state of intoxication broke into a public bus and drove twice around the island, dancing inside the vehicle naked. The bus for the local transport was parked in the western port of Poros, one of the islands on the uh, Saronic Gulf. According to local media, the drunken tourists drove the bus around the island twice and stopped in the area of a uh, monastery. Security guard noticed the incident, called the police. The patrol car located and stopped the seized bus. 10 to 13 drunk Dutchmen jumped out of the doors and the windows and fled. The tourist who was driving the stolen bus was arrested. Uh. So when this story passes into legend, <laughs> will it be the drunken Dutchman? 
Is that what they're going to call that bus now? <laughs> we have our title. The Drunken Dutchman. <laughs> or the Dancing Dutchman. I think Drunken's better. I okay. Dangly Dutchman? I... For one thing, we are in the age of the plague. Why are a bunch of dudes, and this it doesn't mention that there were anyone but dudes. Rub your junk all over a public bus. They're, they're yeah. rocking out with their cocks out. On a bus, they stole. How is this a good time? Honestly, it sounds like it could be fun. Dancing naked on a stolen bus with a bunch of your naked friends kind of sounds like a party. Probably also booze. No, that does not sound like a party. That that <laughs> sounds that sounds that that is not a party I want to visit. I will not I will not RSVP to that party. That's a terrible the party. Wouldn't have minded if they weren't Dutchmen who were very pale. <laughs> if they were like tan. They were so you're thinking they were blinding people, and that that's why they yeah. had to stop them. Yeah, drivers like, can't Europeans see. And Southern Europeans, there's a difference in how much sun you're getting and how much you can tolerate. I, I they were do, probably fucking up traffic. I've I have done a lot of stupid things drunk. I I say I say this quite often. This would not have been on my list of of, of stupid drunken things to do. Not no? have been on my list. No, no, not on my list. That's true. Like they were in Greece. Like they could just blame Dionysus. If you're ever going to try it, that's the time. But we we have we have more stolen bus shenanigans, and um, th this this story especially goes out to that 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 that, that uh, commenter who lost their shit about us saying you got to watch your kids because. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, we definitely meant what we meant by that. Absolutely. Was that you need to stare at your children 24 seven. Yeah. Obviously what we until meant until they're was, 18. You, That's you, what we definitely meant. We, we definitely meant you need to low jack your children or some shit. You, you, you that you must keep them shackled totally. underground like sloth in the goonies. That, that's what you need to do with your children. Um, it's another bus and I, this kid's kind of my hero. I gotta fucking say, I love this. Is he driving around the naked Dutchman? No. Um, child in stolen bus taunted officers during chase Sunday. Had to stand up to reach the gas pedal. <laughs> Baton Rouge, an 11 year old juvenile, was taken into custody Sunday after police said the kid stole a school bus and took officers on a pursuit from Scotlandale to Central. Police started pursuing the stolen school bus before 11 Sunday morning. Authorities say the bus was stolen from the 300 block of Elmer Street. According to police, the bus belonged to a private owner who subcontracted the vehicle to Progress Head Start. By 1130, the bus had crashed and officers surrounded the bus and taken the juvenile driver to custody. Uh, I was this report at recording of the uh, police chase in the bus. Crash did not appear to cause any major damage. Um, there were not any injuries. Police said the bus had no keys, but it had a push to start ignition. Officers believe the child was too small to reach the pedals. So they had to stand up to drive the bus. Police added that the 11 year old was <laughs> flipping his middle finger to officers as he drove past them. Legend. Legend. This is 100% some shit that this guy here would have done. Yeah. Fucking totally. legend. Fuck the police, I got a school bus. <laughs> Fucking, this kid is going to be eating out on this story until he graduates high school. He's walking now. <laughs> They're not letting him on the bus. Oh, he fucked up that bus, too. He's He is going to be known forever as Bobby Fuck the Police Jones. Okay? Yeah. They're, that's going to be, he's just going to know him. That's his middle name from now on. Fuck the police. He's going to roll into the 10 year reunion and they're going to be like, oh my God, that's that kid that stole a school, stole a school bus. <laughs> oh, that fucking kid. That Jesus Christ. That, fucking that push button ignition is trouble. It is. He has one of those. 
I don't I don't understand. I think with public vehicles, it's different. Then you have to be like in in vicinity of the key fob. His does too. Yeah. He often has to literally dangle his keys at his dashboard. Like it's a child, right? I don't know if they're so like the button will see the keys. I don't know if they're like keeping the keys too close to the vehicles or something. They're storing them there or what? I don't know how this works with like you know. I know how it works like someone's regular car. You have to have it like your yeah. pocket, but I don't know how it works with like a bus or some shit. I don't know, but not well apparently. Also, is this necessary technology for school buses? Do we need push button start on the fucking school bus? We are computerizing fucking everything. Yeah. Like, is that, do we need that? Uh, it's not a matter of we need it. It's a matter of they put it in there. Maybe there was a problem <laughs> with keys. I don't know. But just, I, this kid, I, did you ever know that you're my hero? You're, you're everything I wish I could be. He's definitely going to be the coolest little fucker in the sixth grade. That's for sure. I, I, I love this guy. I love this kid. I, I if he if he needs bail, let me know. Because <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, just just bless him. Um, speaking of bless, our last story this week is um different. Uh. You're Catholic, so this is going to come to to a, uh, a, a a special place for you. Um, did you know that after certain things happen to a church altar, it has to be burned? Yeah, it's deconsecrated. You can't use it anymore. Things like. The priest having a fucking three-way on top of it. I was gonna, like, in Catholic Family Feud, I'm pretty sure the number and answer would have been fucking. Can't do that. The Nor New Orleans... Look at this picture! Look at that guy, he's just like, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? New Orleans Ar Archbishop Gregory Amon has denounced Pastor Travis Clark after he filmed himself having a threesome with two women at the altar of the St. Peter's. And the two women are exactly the type of women you picture when you say yeah. threesome on the altar of a Catholic yeah. church. They, they got the, the goth thing is is heavy there. That is One true. One has the angle bangs, like exactly whatever you're picturing. <laughs> that's, that's what they look like. I'm, I'm going to hurt you. On the, the, the one on the right, I know. What? <laughs> yeah. Fucking Are you serious? Yeah, she has she has a GoFundMe to get her out of jail because the two of them went to jail. He didn't. Oh, fuck that! Yeah, That's some bullshit. But like, you know her personally? Yeah. <laughs> it was bound to happen eventually. They are two. They're they're dominatrixes. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they got his mug shot, but that's he, some bullshit. Yeah, that's and that's the big deal is that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it does say he was charged with public obscenity, but it, they can charge you and let you go. Just expect your ass to come back. They, 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 they it's a matter of holding you over. <sighs> okay, look, and they say, yeah. yeah, we were consenting adults. Okay, true. However. Ain't your church, though. Yeah. Even if the priest is letting you do it, it ain't his church. Yeah. It, this is kind of like, you know, if you work at a McDonald's and you let people fuck on the counter. It's not your counter. <laughs> ain't your counter, ain't your McDonald's. Same thing. Priest just works there. Don't own it. And let me tell you, the manager, pretty fucking tough. <laughs> HR, not very understanding. <sighs> well, it depends on who you fuck. If he had two little boys in there, they'd be very understanding. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Yeah. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, along with two women, charged, Clark was charged with public obscenity, obscenity, a felony in Louisiana that carries a sentence as high as three years? Yo, okay, come on. I could see a misdemeanor. I could see a fine for this shit. 
technically it's a sex crime. Yeah. Like depending on what that state's registry laws, they might be registered sex offenders now. Shit, that's bullshit. Because, I mean, there was no one else. It's technically, you're performing a sex act in a public place. But there was no one else involved. All right, now this, this did. It depends. Some churches don't lock their doors. True. Anyone could have walked. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why in God's name? Literally. I mean, we know why. Do we? It's the whole forbidden. Yeah, but it, naughty okay. thing. It's my understanding. You're a priest, and you're not supposed to be fucking anybody. It's my understanding that becoming a priest takes time. You, it's an investment of time, and you know a yeah. bunch of. It's not like you just walk in and go, you know, here's your here's your stole, here's your Eucharist, no. go have fun. Um, That's more like being a deacon, right? So this dude puts in all the time to be a priest. And decides one day, you know what? Let's shoot a porno here, ladies. <laughs> Sounds Fuck like they could use that dick cage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that might that might solve a lot of problems for the Catholic Church. <laughs> a dark angel of Utaku. Here's the church, here's the steeple, open the door, and oh my god. I have to know how Dan knows her. Dan knows a lot of weird fucking people. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't call this weird, you know. No, but like she's uh, she's a dominatrix. That's not that weird. But like Dan knows a diverse group of yeah people. I I would by maybe this was like a plot to let a vampire in. Mm-hmm. It's a supernatural plot. I was thinking that, like, maybe they were trying to free Lilith from the pit. Because they had to deconsecrate the altar. <laughs> well, ladies, it's a tough job, but you gotta help me. The world's at stake. You gotta fuck on this altar. <laughs> hey, whatever gets you. And, like, a couple of goth chicks are gonna be like, okay. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but they had, they had, the altar had been fitted with state. Passerby saw the church lights were on for longer than usual. The altar had been fitted with stage lighting and several cameras. The boy was setting up production value here. And I gotta say, that is one of the all-time greatest mug shots. Look at just look at him. I know, it's like he regrets nothing. Uh, you know, this is the thing that happened. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Uh, those, those girls regret nothing. <clears throat> They're like, yeah, fuck that. They should not. All right, look, fucking. They they should not be in fucking jail. If he's not in jail, they should no. be in jail. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. That's not fair. That's bullshit. Oh come, all ye faithful. Yes, Min Chao. Yes, yes. The Father, the Son, and the Holy. Fuck. Yes, computer <laughs> wrote it. I I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, you know, if if you want to deconsecrate a church, all you got to do is just bribe some people to fuck there, and you know. Well, it's just the altar. Like they'll have to remove the altar, yeah. and then they'll probably do a special mass to re-bless the church. I mean, I'm I I I gotta wonder if, if more vampires have this is like a technique vampires should use. <laughs> if if you are in fact a vampire watching right now, here you go. Yeah, but how are you gonna get in? Well, you just bribe some people, you know. Hmm. But it won't deconsecrate the ground, just the furniture. Well, they're gonna have to do a lot of fucking then. <laughs> Um, I mean, if you just want that as your dining room table, as a vampire, <laughs> sure. We've learned that um, it's not hard to make yourself a legend for life in school. You just have to be willing to take some chances. Let's not combine those two stories, though. <laughs> no. We've learned that you're never too old to steal a bus and dance around naked in a foreign country. Not necessarily a good thing. I mean, thing. that bus is deconsecrated now. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna have to burn it. We've learned that if you drop your if you drop your cell phone at a storm drain, let it go because, buddy, it's gone. It's just that's just one of those teachable moments um, when you learn to accept loss. <laughs> we've learned that uh, you know, compounding the error. It, it's 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 a lot worse to get arrested for a bunch of crimes 
than to just get people know you did the one crime. Yeah. Also, the newspaper is on the internet now. <clears throat> it is. You, you just Google. You're right. He's probably, what's, what do you mean Google me? I, I don't like you that way. I mean, it's... <laughs> And finally, we've learned, do not allow the internet to cage your penis. It a, is a thing we say in the 20th. If I went back in time to, to the like 18 year old you. Yeah. And I came out of, I'm you from the future. Don't let the internet cage your penis. You mean like prodigy? Half the audience is too young for that joke. <laughs>